Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nazanese. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I am the founder and creator of DOI Ministries, that is Daughter of Increase Ministries. And here on this channel, I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God in Christ through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And I do that by posting twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, and occasionally on Tuesdays. And as the title says, this video is kind of like a bookshelf unhaul cleanup kind of video i don't really know i just wanted to blog this experience because i mentioned in a previous video that i was going to do a book sale i kind of did the book sale but i only kind of sold to one person so far with a second person on hold right now which i emailed um because those two people actually contacted me immediately after that video was posted um, so the person who <laughs> contacted me first knows who she is. Um, I sent her her book. She got her books already. And then the other person, I did not email them back as of yet because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that the cart that I used to have here actually broke. I had to get rid of it. And so I ended up getting, um, I ended up deciding and praying and asking God to help me just get rid of books off of my shelf. And I was just going to get rid of my christian books um that i owned but i figured i just need to get rid of books in general because there are books on my shelves that i know i still want to read but um i don't need to own physical copies of right i can just get rid of them the brand new books i can get send them to goodwill or just sell them and i can just have a big you know sell of books for seven dollars ten dollars if they're hot covers and stuff like that and um things like that so i did start moving books out of the way i literally have all of my bible studies here and i was trying to really go through my bible studies to get rid of I got rid of a small amount of Bible studies, literally like maybe five or six. I'm trying to get rid of a few more. Um, the Bible studies I know I'm not getting rid of are like my Moody Publisher ones. I'm not getting rid of my Daily Grace Co. ones. I'm not getting rid of my Lifeway ones, Thomas Nelson ones, not getting rid of. There are some smaller ones I have that I can possibly give away. But then there are other ones that I just don't want to give away. And then I have some that are like ARCs that I cannot sell. And an ARC is basically an advanced reader copy, which is basically a proof of a book that you really, you're not supposed to sell. It literally says not for sale. And so those kind of books I probably would just like give away to someone who like buys a bunch of books, which I actually did with um someone already, Christy from Graceful Reads. She, Grace Field Reads, she had actually purchased some books for me and then I had added some books in there for her that she could you know take because i'm not able to sell those books but i could just give them away to someone so that's pretty much that and so i'm going through my shelves i did go through this shelf already which is why the books look a little bit more organized here i only went from these three shelves up so i did get rid of quite a few books there which is why it looks a little bit more put together um there i do have to go through the bottom shelf here because the bottom shelf has some christian books and then i have i don't even i don't know if i want to show you guys real quick but <laughs> okay you guys can see the this stack right here i have two stacks of books that are those are my christian non-fictions don't judge me okay they're just stacked up there's they're getting a tall stack and these are books that i really want to read books that i have requested books i have purchased um books that like i've gotten from like websites for free they're just sitting there and I, I I can always get the ebook if need be and just get them to someone who's going to read them quickly and um we we just need to it needs to happen I need to stop keeping them it's not that I'm hoarding them because I have every intention to read them but there's so many books coming out so much more that I can read that I want to read and like so many other books that I want to read now and then those get pushed to the back burner and it's just like they can go to a better home so yeah, um, if I'm if you find me stuttering or anything, rolling my eyes in the back of my head, just know I am experiencing a level seven migraine right now, and I have not taken any of my medication. It has been a very busy weekend um, with ministry-wise things, and um, yeah, it's been a very busy weekend, pretty much. And my brain is just not <laughs> it's not computing. Um, I have not taken my medication as of yet because I have not eaten as of yet. Is that helpful? Not at all. I do have my water. I have now stopped. I I drunk all my Fiji water. I have no more cold water. And so I now have the Alkaline 88. I've been drinking that. Yeah, I think I'm out of water, actually. So I have 
No, I have one more Fiji, one more big bottle of Fiji. I have the um, alkaline water here and one big bottle of Fiji. So that means I actually have to buy more water. So I need to put that on my list to buy. So I'm out of water pretty much. I need to buy some water. So I need to buy Fiji. I need to buy some core and some Essentia and some Alkaline 88 um, water to drink. But yeah, I've just been drinking water. I did make me an iced coffee, um, which is kind of helping to alleviate that. I'm waiting on food to get here. Um, so when the food gets here, I am going to eat, take medication, and take a nap. But I need to get my room in order. And in order for me to get my room in order, I need to get the section in front with my books in order because I store stuff in front of the bookshelves. But I can't store the things properly in front of the bookshelves if the bookshelf is not organized. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I showed you guys, like, what my room would really look like below, like, the camera I eat, whatever, so. Yeah, I have that. Um, my son was home for the weekend, but he left, what is that, because I told his dad, I just, I wasn't feeling well. I'm not feeling well until he left. Um, let me grab my coffee. I have my coffee here. It's the Nespresso um, Lamina over ice. And then I have three boxes of macarons in here. I had a box prior to my church doing the corporate fast. And then during the fast, I ended up with two boxes. So, we have boxes on boxes of macarons in here. I can finally eat them. And so, that's what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, I did go to Barnes and Nobles. I needed to go to Barnes and Nobles just to, just, just to clear my brain because it's just a lot going on, a lot going on, a lot, and it's a lot, it's a lot going on. So I did go to Barnes and Nobles today, um, and I got me some fantasy books. I do have, because people have asked me how, like, I shop for books, and I'm, I'm going to do a video where I show you guys how I shop for Christian books and there's two stores I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to Barnes and Nobles and I'm also going to go to Indigo because Indigo has a really good section with books that are faith related and then Barnes and Nobles of course has a massive section. However, the problem with both those stores is that they don't categorize their books properly and so I'm going to have to literally have like a list of books that I want from each store and so um yeah that video is going to come soon where I show you guys exactly like I'm going to make a list of, like, books that I want. Maybe, like, ten books that I want to find. Um, and find those books from those stores. But, yeah, I did get some books. So, originally, I went for two fantasy books. However, they did not have that author's books for some odd reason in the store. And so, I'm probably going to have to get that, that author's books off of Amazon. Um, I do have the ebooks, but I really want the physical copies. They're so pretty. But, um... I got a lot of mass markets and I love me some mass markets mass markets are like these tiny these tiny books that you guys see here I love a good mass market these tiny ones they're just so pretty they look like this I like the little tiny books and I like a good mass market pickback and so I binge bought a lot if I never know what to buy um in Barnes and Nobles I pretty much buy a mass market because they're anywhere from like eight to ten dollars and you can like buy a bunch of them and be satisfied and then i do have a barnes and nobles membership and so yeah so that's what i did um i got this trilogy um it is okay so let me just say i am a fantasy lover okay and the reason why i'm saying that is because i don't just read obviously christian fiction i do read fantasy novels a lot this whole shelf is full of fantasy novels the shelf over there has fantasy novels so i'm a fantasy lover it is what it is i don't get convicted on reading a lot of fantasy novels i do get convicted when i read certain horror novels but i don't get convicted on reading fantasy and i'm saying that because of the title of this series that's why so the title of this series is called the demon cycle okay that's why i'm saying that but um yeah this is by peter b brett it has good ratings it's over four stars on um goodreads and so yeah i got the first one which is the warded man I got the second one, which is the Desert Spear, and then the third one, which is the Daylight War. There is a fourth book out for it. Um, they had it, but it was like the regular size, and my thing is when I buy books, I prefer all my books to be the same size or the same cover style. I don't like in fantasy books when they change covers. It just irks me 
to no end. I hate it. Um, that's one thing I think I, I have a pet peeve in when it comes to like fantasy novels or books in general is when they start off with a cover design and a style and they switch that style in between series. I don't like it. So I wanted to stick to it. The only thing I will say about this is that they did change like the feel of it and the spines. So like it's the same publishing company, Del Rey. Um, but you can see like these two are more smooth. This one is more glossy, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's fantasy. Good ratings. Um, I know that it's probably dark fantasy. I don't mind that. So we have this trilogy here. Um, well, series because I know it's more books than that. Then... I got this book from this author, also had good ratings. Um, I think there's three books or maybe five in this, but they only had these two books. Um, it's from the Fireman Saga. Um, so they had the first two books by Raymond E. Feist, I think it is. And it's the King of Ashes and then the Queen of Storms. And so I don't, again, know much about this. I just know that it's fantasy. That's all we need to know. I like a good fantasy. High fantasy, historical fantasy. Give me any type of fantasy. I'm for it. Um, it could be magical fantasy, historical fantasy, give me a little bit of dragons, give me some 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 storms, some 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 fighting scenes. I'm I'm for it. So we got these two books. Then I really wanted to get into Anthony Ryan's books. Um I wasn't sure if I had this book. I don't think I do don't think i have it so i ended up getting it um wait i didn't have it oh i do have it Ooh. okay oh that hurt mm. i'm sorry guys i don't know what that was just now whoa okay um this one by anthony ryan is the blood song um i think it's the first book in the raven's shadow i think it is series I, I don't know um yes the first book in the raven shadows the, the second one is the tower lord and then queen of fire i do have a lot of his books on ebooks i just wanted a physical copy and it was only nine dollars so whatever um and then this one this is the one that i really wanted because i do own the other three books and i said that i wanted this book but at the time they only had it available in hardcover and i wasn't coming out of pocket $37 for it mm -mm, I think it was like $32 $37 I just I just don't do it and so when I saw that they had it I saw it I grabbed it then I put it back down I said yeah I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna stick to the small ones and then on the way out my mom was talking and I was like you know what let me just grab it it's $25 but again I have Barnes and Noble's membership so I don't pay full price for any books thank god um and so <laughs> I got Rhythm of War <laughs> by mr brandon sanderson now ask me have i read all the books no i have not my favorite brandon sanderson so far what is the name of that book warbreaker i had to look warbreaker it's something about warbreaker by brandon sanderson that i really love i did enjoy the miss born trilogy um the first one miss born era one i have not read era two i now own all of them yeah and i know the fourth book is coming out um so the fourth book in Mistborn Error 2. If if you if you know about the Sanderson bandwagon, then you know. Um, but yeah, and I'm I'm far behind. I read Elantris, it was okay. Um I think I gave it like a four star rating or something like that. It was good, but it, it didn't live up to the hype of like Warbreaker for me. Um I have not read the Mistborn Error 2, but I have read Mistborn Error 1, which I really did enjoy. Um I have read The Way of Kings, which I really did enjoy a lot. Um, that book is like a thousand plus pages. <laughs> this book, how big is this book? It's over a thousand. Yeah, exactly. This, <laughs> whoa. This book is uh, 1,230 pages, y'all. And if y'all think I'm lying, I love a good chunky tome, okay? I love a tome. But yeah, I don't read Sanderson's books at all in hardcover i prefer paperbacks and i honestly prefer my fantasy sometimes when they're really big to be in a mass market however for some reason when it comes to his paperbacks and mass market they are not the best quality um i have his mistborn uh trilogy I, I had the first one in the mass market did not like it and so i ended up buying it in the regular trade package 
trade paperback. I have Warbreaker is breaking apart, so I do want to get the white edition ones, which I think are the UK covers. I want the white edition for the um, Warbreaker because it's so funny. Warbreaker is absolutely my favorite um, from Sanderson so far. I love the use of color in it. I love the characters in it. I love the the use of the different religion and the gods that they discuss in it. Um, and again, I know someone might be watching this and like, oh my god, she reads this stuff. Yes, I read fantasy. If you are not a fantasy reader, if you personally get convicted in that, that is okay. There are some people who are Christians who read Harry Potter and some who get convicted in reading Harry Potter. It is perfectly okay. We each have our own genres. There are some people who will strictly just read biblical fiction and some people who don't mind reading other genres. I'm one of those people who I don't get convicted unless I'm reading like certain type of horror books. I just, a certain type of horrors, I just, I don't do certain things we just don't do okay um but yeah i'm i'm good with fantasy novels dark fantasy grim dark fantasy give me any type of fantasy i'll eat it up real quick okay but um yeah so the plan is to clean off my shelves figure out what books i don't want um like i said these shelves are pretty much done i just have the bottom shelf to do which has like my christian uh fiction books as well on there that i need to go through I'm trying to save that for last because that's going to be really hard for me to do. These two over here are not going to... My purse is in the way. Those two shelves over there are not going to be that hard. Um, so this tower here are just like coloring books on the top. Those are my coloring books which I have gone through. I have taken off three coloring books that I actually had that were Christian related coloring books, shockingly or not. So I had the five love languages coloring book and then I had um, another coloring book that I took off of that shelf. Um, and then the bottom two shelves are my blank journals, which I'm not getting rid of my blank journals. I use my journals. Um, and then this big stack over here are literally all of my son's books, but I'm going to go through those, get rid of them. I still have some of like his baby books, which it don't make sense. And I mean, like they beat up, they tell up, they could just go. So we're just going to get rid of things. It's time to just get rid of them. Things that I know I'm not ever going to read, I can just take off my shelf and things that I know... I'm going to make a maybe pile and those books that are going to go in the maybe pile, I'm going to just find ebooks for. And if I can find ebooks for, we'll do that because I like to typically catalog my books and I use a specific app called Lib Libib, I think it's called. I'll leave a link down below Libib. Um, I like to use that app to catalog my books. Um, I don't think, let me see if I can find it on here. But I like to use that app to catalog my books. Um, you can actually use it to catalog anything, but I personally use it for cataloging my books because you can literally scan the barcode and um, it will catalog everything for you. Yeah, it's called Libib. That was my stomach, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. The food is on the way. But um, here's what it's called. It's called Libib. I'll leave it linked down below. Libib. Um, that's what I like to use. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to download it onto my tablet, which probably I shouldn't do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I probably want to do it on my phone. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, but... I'm gonna go get myself situated, turn my light on and everything, get stuff moved out of the way. And then when I get to actually doing the books, I'll turn the camera back on so you guys can see. But yeah, the plan is to do the books as quickly as possible, at least get them off the shelf. I'll organize the books down the line. I just need to get them off the shelf so that I can get this bed together, change the sheets on my bed and relax for the rest of the evening before service tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. So, see you guys in like 2.5 seconds for you guys, but for me, it might be about 10 15 minutes. Okay.
Hey guys, so it's 6.03, I think it was like 4 or something when I started, um, I'm like literally out of it, I didn't do a lot, um, y'all about to see a mess, my bed is a mess right now, I need to take all that off and change the sheets. I have the proper sheets over in this corner. I need to fix this corner up. All the stuff on this table needs to go in its proper place. I have stuff thrown in the corner over here. Some of the books. Let me just turn the camera. Oh, okay, camera. Okay, so I have some of the books here that I got rid of. Um, here I need to go through them because I think there are like three books in here that are written in one is over there I wrote in that one I'm not gonna sell it I'm just gonna get rid of it and then I have some arcs that I'm gonna separate um hardcovers here and then these are like all of the Christian related books I do have a pile of books um like on this bottom shelf right here that I need to go through down there and then like I said I have those two stacks over there but i'm not going through those right now um i'm completely out of it and so what i'm gonna do is just get this bed organized get everything printed for tomorrow for church take all my meds snack on macarons finish watching anime and just rest i'm tired um and i got a feeling my mother's gonna come in here and yell at me in a few minutes so, I'm going to finish this video up, possibly Monday. Um, but I did get some headway in. I didn't clear a lot of books off my shelf. So, what my bookshelves are looking like, pretty much the same. I did flip that row around. Um, I wasn't able to fit the new books that I had got. So, I did stack them over here. And like I said, these books are literally my Bible studies. I have two rows of Bible study books. And then my new book here and stuff like that. And like I said, these are literally just blank journals all here. And then my coloring stuff there. Um, so I'm getting ready to clear all this off, change my sheets because they need to be changed and rest. So I'll finish this vlog up on a separate day. But I'm going to finish watching my anime and wash my hands and stuff because I think I, got, I had a lot of dust on the bookshelf. I don't really get to clean my bookshelf too often because obviously they're jam-packed. Um, but I just, I can't wait to move and like properly have my shelves on the wall. I think I'm going to build my shelves into the wall when I move. Just go buy like some really thick wood and have them go like straight across. I don't know if I want it to be like straight across. I don't know, but I know I want to have them in the wall. So that's how we're doing that. Oh, my head is banging. So I'm gonna grab my pills. Grab my pills. I finished eating already. I still have a little bit of coffee left. So I'm gonna finish this coffee, drink some water, and just rest. So I'll come back day two for the rest of this video. Hey guys, so today is the 16th, Wednesday, November 16th, and I'm here to finish up with that sort of bookshelf unhaul thing. Um as you can see, I didn't really fix much, but the books kind of look a little bit more organized, not too crazy. Um, the other fantasy books that I bought were not able to fit up here because I didn't really get rid of a lot of books on that shelf. So I'm still going to reorganize those down the line. For now, they're just stacked over there. But today, I'm going to tackle the books in the corner. But um, before I do that, I'm going to go make coffee. But we have books in this corner, and I mean they go all the way down <laughs> and then i also have books on this shelf but they are at the complete bottom and so i have to get to those but that might be a separate video and what i'm going to do is just go through these shelves and really think about whether i want to keep the books or not i think i'm going to get rid of most of my joyce meyer books honestly um just get those off of my shelf <laughs> because i can always get those again down the line there are a few that i might keep 
but um i think the joyce meyer ones i will get rid of um yeah those are the ones i'll most likely get rid of there are other books like i said down there i'm probably not going to get to today but um i just want to try to get as many books as i can off my shelf um so that i can move forward with everything else there are probably will be some devotionals i'll get off my shelf i have books on that bookshelf over here it's gonna take me a couple days trying to get through everything because uh, it just does um i'm also in the process of working on the bible studies i will have three bible studies going simultaneously um two on youtube one is specifically for the membership and one is obviously free for everyone that is going to be the names of jesus and then i also have the one that will be going in the facebook group on forgiveness and so um yeah i am going to be working on those studies um shortly so literally i'm just going to be like jotting notes and stuff down but i also want to take a moment and use this this prayer journal was gifted to me by my mentee she had got me this as well as my um my my comic bible and so she actually got it for herself because this is this is like a weekly assignment that i have her do um every week she has a couple of pages in here that she does for an assignment for her to get into the habit of prayer journaling um, I've had mines for a couple of weeks. I think we had about three or four sessions. And so I haven't been able to use mines, but I want to start combining this and alternating between using this and also using the coffee and Bible time. Um, and so, yeah, I'll flip through this eventually in a flip, a flip through probably for next week. I'll do. Um, but, and I also want to start with this, which this is the Bible study I'm going to be doing. Um, they walked with god study it goes through 40 bible characters i'll probably do two at a time simply because um it'll probably be probably be every month um so i figured we can tackle two at a time um and so i need to start working on the package and stuff for that study because i want to get that information out for december i think all the studies are just going to have to officially start in january like video footage but i'm going to start getting the basic stuff done this month and in the beginning of december so i can have that stuff going out the plan was to originally start doing the studies in december but i realized by the time i wanted to do the studies which would have been just the week of december 18th i believe that is um i think it's december 18th that i originally had thought of doing it let me look at the calendar quickly but i think it was december 18th that i said i wanted to cancel i don't know what that is no december 18th so i think it was the 17th i said i wanted to do it um but then the, the week after would have been christmas week and then the week after that is new year's week and so the third i couldn't do because i have to do outreach things for church and then the 10th it was either the 10th or the 17th and so those two weeks those two saturdays and so you know i want to make sure that i give time to doing um this properly and so yeah i am thinking of doing it every third saturday that is the plan every third saturday get on third or fourth i'm again i'm still trying to get the plans fully fleshed out um and thank you to those who have joined the membership i did not even realize people joined the membership i happened to go on today um and it told me that i had four members which i didn't even know that i had four members i had no idea at all um so yeah i officially have four members part of the membership which i truly thank you ladies for so much for joining um those who have joined at the doi sisterhood you will have content coming to you guys specifically um hopefully by the end of the month i can get you guys some stuff up already but um for the ones that signed up for the doi gym and stuff like that you will get stuff soon but um yeah I don't know it's saying okay I'll, I'll look into this another day but yeah it's saying i have four members so thank you to the four who did sign up for the membership but i have stuff coming for you all but yeah i'm gonna go make me a cup of coffee um really quick um i did have coffee earlier this morning i had a hot cup of coffee i didn't drink the whole cup so i'm gonna go make me a iced coffee now probably shouldn't have ice because i'm really cold but i'm gonna go make iced coffee and then we're gonna tackle those books um, and get things going. I'm going to show you guys quickly the books that I already have stored away. And let me go take my bowl. I had a bowl of rice. Um, so let's just go. 
so yeah here are the books um the ones in the back are like my secular books and the ones in the front are my christian books so just wanted to show that so let me just make coffee so in the make in the midst of making this video i broke another tripod um my tripod is completely broken so my backdrop stands are broken <laughs> my tripod is now broken and also my mini tripod is broken <sighs> and i've been trying to avoid getting new ones because they are not cheap so now i have to buy new everything which kind of sucks kind of sucks because i was not budgeting to add that in but i have to now because i legit now have nothing to record with um like there's no fixing this like it is completely broken and i could glue it but i think i'm past the stage of gluing things um so yeah we're going to just trash this and work on getting new equipment um so videos will be coming as i can i guess at this point because things are just constantly breaking so let me just um i did make my coffee I also broke a nail in the process, as you can see. Um, it is what it is. But here, so like I said, these two rows, these three rows up, are my seculars. So up there, I have my middle grades. Down here are like my contemporary romances and contemporary novels, YA and adult. Here are my thriller mysteries, horrors, like that. And then down here, I'm actually gonna go through this as well because <laughs> right now it's a hot mess. These are also Christian books, um, but these are like children's books. I do keep children's books because obviously I love kids. And so I'm going to fix this up as well and then move all of this stuff out of the way. So this basically is a stack of a Bible and then just all of my printing paper, certificates, paper, and things like that, as well as my switch box. Probably going to move that. Um, and then this has some stuff for my son. This has all of my headphones and controllers and things like that so i'm going to do that real quick and probably start with the bottom row to get that out of the way so let's get that done first Okay, guys, I'm back. And um, 
I took a few more off my shelf, and so I think I'm content with what I have so far. I took a few devotionals off. Um, I just have one more shelf to go on, which is over there, but um, I reorganized, and so you can see my books is not as high anymore. I basically separated, and the way I did that was I know that from... I think here up these are like regular like nonfiction books and then from I think here to about here are devotionals that are not gonna fit on the show actually down all the way down are devotionals and then these are some nonfictions I'm keeping and then all of these are nonfictions that I am going to be reading the ones I put on the shelves are more of my um, parenting books more of my eschatology books more of my um like what do you call those uh like coaching not coaching uh, counseling type of non-fiction books that i do want to keep and then i kept this corner over here for the books that i've already finished reading so up here and down on this side are like books i've read and i'll say that and like and then i have those over here along with some of my men's books because i do keep um men's books for myself obviously um but i'm getting rid of rid of this devotional i got this devotional um it was in the thing for requesting upon um what is it from destiny house i i went with approval for the request and um yeah it's a running devotional i don't run so I don't know why I accepted it, but it's a good devotional. It basically talks about running and then also um, gives you like notes on running um, and gives you space for do jotting down like your daily workout routine and how many miles you ran. So we have that. This one, which is spread too thin, is a devotional from Ella Miller. Um, I've had it for a very long time. This came out when? 2018. I just have no desire to honestly read this at all anymore it is a 30 is this a 30 day devotional i don't know I'm trying to see how many days it's a 90 day devotional so a three month devotional um yeah i don't feel like doing it so we have that and the way i'm gonna do it when i do the book sale is my paperbacks are all gonna be seven dollars hard covers will be ten dollars and that's how i'll do that um we have this one which i've had for a very long time i read it um it was okay i didn't annotate in it or anything like that i just don't see me keeping it and studying it again or reading through it again um but it was good when i had it and so this is courageous woman of the bible it goes through different women of the bible i have hello beautiful beautiful by elise morgan elisa morgan or uh, i don't know how to pronounce it but um yeah we have that um this one i got from baker um it is the vision driven leader 10 questions to focus your efforts and energize your team and scale your business um i don't know this one i'm still up on the air about i'm not sure if i want to keep it or not i don't think i do yeah i don't so we're just getting rid of this so this would be like ten dollars um technically this actually retails for twenty seven dollars but I would sell it for only 10 This one here, um, Preparing to Blend the Couple's Guide to Becoming a Smart Step Family. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I feel like I should. But I don't know if I want to, so yeah. Um, another one of these Bible studies. I don't know why I have two copies of this Bible study. So yeah, I have two copies of that Bible study. I might keep one copy and then give the other copy away. Because I thought I only had one. But it's a study on Galatians. One is already being given. One is already being sold. Um, we have more than these, A Woman's Love for God book. This, a few Joyce Meyer copies, um, Unshakable Trust. I think I had two copies. I got my mom the large print, so I have this copy, and I have my copy on the shelf. Um, and then I have three of her other books. Um, Do Yourself a Favor, Forgive, Living Courageously, and then Living a Life You Love. Um, then I have The Bright Life. Um, the Audacious Molly Bruno, and then The Nerves of Steel. So these are just some of the books. Like I said, there are other ones in there. I have a full sit-down video going through every single book um, in like a video talking about the book sale. I'll probably name it book sale um, coming on whatever date it is and things like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the book sale on Instagram or if I'll do it through the website. I'm not sure yet, but I do know that paperbacks will be $7 and um, hard covers will be $10. That's all including, obviously, the shipping price. Um, so there will be no additional fees and all that. And I do want to wipe some of these books down because, like, this one here is dusty. I know my face is about to break out. So 
I'm gonna go. That is the end of this video. Even though I do have another shelf to check, I'm not even gonna record that. We're just not. It's it's too much work. So that is the end of this bookshelf unhaul slash bookshelf preview of the sale kind of video. Um, I'm gonna go put these books in the kitchen, um, put my room back in order, and I'll chat with you all later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.